Momelot Inib is a Jack 1, Jack 2, and ACVR1 or ALK2 inhibitor. It's a small molecule. Uh, it's been around for some time. It's been in a number of trials, actually three phase three trials. And now uh, it's highly anticipated this, that this drug will get approved uh, for, for myelofibrosis. So what's unique about Momelot Inib is that despite being a Jack inhibitor, Jack 1 and Jack 2, it still manages to improve improve hemoglobin, uh, which is a significant unmet need right now uh, with the drugs that we currently have uh, in this class. And it does so by inhibiting ACVR1. So when you inhibit ACVR1, you reduce the production of hepcidin from the liver. And uh, in doing that, uh, you make iron more available for erythropoiesis in the bone marrow. So less iron is trapped or sequestered uh, uh, by hepcidin in the reticular endothelial system when you when you suppress the production of hepcidin. So iron is more available, there's more red cells produced, and uh, importantly, the anemia benefit has been seen across the studies of momelotinib. So I alluded to three phase three studies. Simplify one was frontline head-to-head -head versus RUX. Uh, Simplify two was in RUX exposed patients, and it was momelotinib versus best available therapy. Uh, the overwhelming majority of which was still RUX, even though these were patients who had previously been on RUX, the best available therapy was still a continuation of RUX in almost 90% of these patients. So you can think of both Simplify 1 and 2 as momelotinib versus RUX trials in the front line and second line respectively. Momentum, the most recent one that was presented at ASCO and EHA 2022, was a study second line versus Danazol, momelotinib versus Danazol, in patients who had previously had JAK inhibitors. And these patients had to be symptomatic and anemic. And there were certain thresholds for these things. Hemoglobin less than 10, symptom score more than 10. So this was a uniformly positive trial. All endpoints were met. The primary endpoint was symptom score reduction, TSS 50, um, uh, you know, 50% 50 or greater reduction in symptoms. And that was met, uh, it was 25% versus 9%. Spleen was met, that was 23% versus 3%. And then important Importantly, transfusion independence, very important because Danazol, the comparator, is an active drug for anemia. So this was designed as non-inferiority and uh, momelotinib hit 31% and Danazol 20%. So not a bad showing by Danazol, but the non-inferiority was met. So uh, all endpoints again were met and we're very excited as a field to, to welcome this drug into our JAK inhibitor uh, arsenal.